What you mean you don't know Panda? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is poppy YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda and y'all see me in the bathroom so you know what time it is guys. Today I am doing my very own boho knot list. Y'all see the inches out here. My hair is just growing and thriving and I've been doing these so much on my clients lately that I just wanted to do it on myself. So today we're going to go ahead and knock that out. So we're going to jump right into the setup. So I have two trays guys, one to prep my braiding hair and one to prep the human hair that I'm using for this video. And then of course I have my ring light that I'm going to use to stand my phone on. Just a really quick shout out to YG Wigs because I am using their boho hair and it is literally so fire. You guys have to make sure you go ahead and check them out. Okay, so for products, I'm using Lock and Twist on the braid down. I'm using the Dope Collection <laughs> at the root. And then you guys can see I have my Allegro parting comb. And then I'm going to be using one of my phones. I have it set up on the ring light. And I'm going to be using that to record and watch myself in the mirror. I've seen a lot of people DIY like that. And so, yeah. So I'm going to start off just like I do on all my clients. And I'm going to separate from ear to ear. Um, just a section off that lower part of my head, y'all. And it was at this moment that I realized, like, this shit is no joke. So if y'all have been following my channel from the beginning, you guys should know that I started my YouTube off actually styling on myself. So I went into doing this style extremely confident because I'm like, yeah, like, I could bar my own hair, y'all. I quickly realized, like... I don't really got it like that anymore, y'all. So I tried to switch over into using a rat tail comb. I didn't have one, so I'm using the rat tail of my edge brush, but I'm looking at myself making these parts and I just went diagonally down, y'all. Like it is literally just so tricky. So for this first part, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I spent about 30 minutes just trying to get this part as straight as possible and it finally just hit me. I came to the realization that look, as long as I get it as straight as I possibly can, I'm going to have to settle for that because it's not going to be like what I do on other people. And so I just want to let you guys know if you're doing your own hair, you have to go in with that knowledge that like some people, yes, they can bar it and your part will be absolutely straight with no ripples, no nothing in it. Um, but you know, when you first start now, y'all, you're going to have to settle for like just it being like as good as you can get it, if that makes any sense, because... I kept going over it and over it and over it. And I feel like the more you go over it, it's just you always going to see something or you might mess it up more. Like y'all can see as I'm parting it, I'm like, wait a minute, like now it's a little dip. So I'm trying to use my fingers to fill. It just, y'all, it, it just was, was, it was, it was a stressful time. So I was going to cut this footage down in the beginning because I'm like, girl, they're going to be like, why does she keep going over this part, y'all? But like I said, this was my first row and I really was like, I need to make this look like something. I need this to be like the best set of braids ever. Like I need to go viral off of this. And so I literally just recorded the whole 30 minutes and was like, let me just speed this up and show y'all like the reality because the girls on TikTok just making it seem like it's so easy, y'all. They be making it seem like it's so easy and maybe it is for them, but... I also haven't done my own hair in a while. I just was up for a challenge, and so that's why I decided to do it. So, yeah, eventually I'm going to get to where I'm satisfied, y'all, and then I'm going to break this down into four braids. So I am doing a medium size uh, boho knot list. So I'm going to have two rows at the nape down here, um, and then I'm going to have five above the ear. So initially what I was doing was using my camera, and I was zooming in and then looking at my... I was looking in the mirror at the phone camera zoomed in, if that makes sense. But I realized like I just needed to be like really, really up close. And so I decided to sit on the counter and do it kind of like I did the old school way. I sat on the counter, I got another mirror and I would kind of look and feel and part that way. And I just felt like I was a little bit more successful doing it this way, like getting up close and personal because I could really, really see. Um, and for some reason, it just helped me being closer to the mirror. So I ended up doing that and... That ended up working out for me, and I'm going to show you guys how I finally, after all that, got into my first braid. So y'all, the parting is literally the hardest part. If you guys can get past that, the braiding is literally a breeze. I know some braiders offer a service where they will part out your entire head for you and you just go in and do the braids. And so that's always also an option. I'm actually thinking about adding that after doing this um, on myself. So, yeah. 
I had every intention on making like a DIY tutorial out of this, but I slowly realized like, y'all, I'm still really just learning how to do this on myself too. So basically the only thing I really notice that's different when I'm working on myself versus a client, obviously the parting, but we're past that. Um, is when I'm braiding and I'm like starting the braid I have to hold my hands one way but I do have to end up flipping the braid just because I can't braid in this position forever obviously like I'm not flexible enough to do that and I feel like the average person isn't so you will see me change my hand position like this and then eventually I'm gonna flip the braid all the way around and I'm gonna start braiding down and yeah I mean this part was super easy for me just adding in those pieces and braiding all the way down like yeah, this was a breeze. So this is more of just going to be like a watch me slay my hair and I'll throw a little couple tips in here and there if I can. But um, basically what I ended up doing is I did my entire head on TikTok live and it was actually easier for me to use the TikTok live as like a mirror. I don't know if that makes sense. So outside of the clips where I'm recording myself braiding down. Um, you guys will see me like using the TikTok camera and sitting on the mirror and that just made it so much easier um, for me to yeah be able to see my hair and see my parts and all that so yeah I'm gonna let you guys watch me slay my hair and if I need to pop in I'll pop in I know this video is 32 minutes long y'all but I just felt like I had to show y'all the process like I had to show y'all how these built up so for my curly pieces, I am putting like maybe three to four pieces in each braid. I did want this to be really, really full. Lately, I've been doing it super full and I've been loving it. And I've been using this bomb hair and it literally doesn't tangle or anything like that um, if all you're using is water and your finger to tangle. And so, yeah, when I seen this first uh, braid, I said, oh, oh yeah, you're finna do your big one. I might actually have to throw these back in my head, y'all, because these braids were busted, busted. They turned out so bomb. So y'all, I believe this style took me about 10 hours to do. Um, and like I said, it wasn't that bad. Like once you get your rows parted across, like parting out your braids is super easy. But I believe it took me about 10 hours. So I started at about around four o'clock um, and I worked really late into the night. I can't really remember y'all because this video is actually a couple months old. I'm cleaning out my phone y'all and trying to give y'all all the content that I have. But um, I ended up finishing in the morning, so my finishing clips are going to be just a little bit different, but yeah, it wasn't that bad, y'all. It wasn't like, I would never do this again. It's just the parting was stressing me the fuck out. Like, I wanted it to be super neat, and it wasn't just coming out as needed as I wanted it to, but I might actually upload this TikTok live because I did the whole thing on live, um, so I might actually just upload that for you guys to see, but woo, baby, my fingers was... My fingers was working this day, y'all. So this is what it looks like with those first two rows done. And y'all honestly looking at it now, this is not that bad. Like the parts even are brick laid and it's giving, it's giving, it's not that bad. So I'm going to go in and just like I approach all my clients, I'm going to part off um, from ear to ear at the top and I'm going to pre-part out that front section. Pre-parting is so important y'all because it's just going to help to make sure that those rows at the top are as even as possible. And especially because I'm doing my own head, I just know that like I need to pre-part this out. So I always just separate this little midsection from the front and I'm going to do my rows going back just so. I know um, where they're gonna be so you guys can see since I'm doing medium I have five rows and I showed you guys that side and then I'm just gonna go ahead and match the other side to it y'all I'm center headed so um, excuse my faces and for some reason y'all had hella dandruff in my hair like my hair was super dry so I'm sorry I know some people are like eh, like they don't like to see dandruff but my hair was really dry but I'm gonna go in and moisturize it and oil it and everything when I'm done 
and this part here is super easy to get through just because it's a rough draft y'all so these parts don't have to be perfect you just want to make sure you kind of map it out a little bit but you're always going to go back and redefine them so they're going to change up just a little bit but you want to know a general area of where those rows are going to be so this is fairly easy um, and then i'm going to end up connecting each row to the back mid section This is also gonna make connecting those rows in the back just so much easier because pretty much half the parting process is done. You're just gonna have to follow that midsection around to the other side. And keep in mind that whenever you guys are parting, the more you, the less you lift up your comb, the easier it's gonna be to get a straighter part. So you wanna try to pull your comb through for as long as possible without lifting it. And that's just gonna ensure that you get your part to be as straight as possible. So I went ahead and did that row off camera, but you guys can see how bomb that looks. So I'm just gonna keep following around and using the same process. I'm actually really impressed with these now that I'm looking at them because when I was doing them, y'all, I just was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. But they look really, really good on camera. So I'm really excited about that. So same thing, every time I get to a row, I'm just gonna take the braids down, follow that part around and connect it. And then we're gonna get to work on that row. That's what's always hard for me. I get hooked on like the same way of doing it. I probably broke your heart the moment we met. Don't you understand the way I move is not a flex? It's how I move, baby girl. I take steps. Tiptoe. So as y'all can see here, I'm on TikTok Live and I did want to just show you guys how I was using that camera to like part and everything. So basically, I was taking the camera and I was just zooming in hella far just like that and I'm turning it to the mirror and then you guys can see I can definitely see my hair in the mirror. There's hella fingerprints on my phone because obviously from the jail, but that's how I was getting my parts to be so crisp. So if you guys can do the same thing with your front camera. Um, then it'll be bomb and basically I was just sitting on my counter I told my husband to record me because I'm like I wanted y'all to see how I was doing it So basically I just brought the ring light super close I zoomed in and I was able to part and see the back of my head and it was literally perfect And then my friends on tiktok were like telling me that shit crooked that shit straight You know how tiktok be so that's pretty much what I did to part my hair But like I said you guys can do the same thing if you're just using um, your regular camera <laughs> Please 
have a good life We all gotta walk different paths sometimes I know, don't stroll too far from home So this is the next day y'all. This is all I had left to do was just that front top section So I'm gonna go in and do I think this is about eight braids I'm gonna go in and do these braids and then we will be done with the look y'all I'm really excited for you guys to see how it turned out So y'all, I braided these braids all the way to the end, but I'm going to go in with these 20 millimeter uh, perm rods and I'm going to perm rod the ends of them so that they can be curly. I don't like braiding the human hair into the ends. I just feel like it's hella work and you can get pretty much a similar or the same look by just perm rotting it so yeah I like to do that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and dip them now dipping it is tricky because obviously I'm doing it on myself so I'm gonna be leaning my head over into the kettle because one time I tried to do it another way and d damn near almost burnt my back off so I'm picking up the human hair the human hair can touch the water but I try not to dip the curls because I just don't want to comp compromise the curls at all and then I'm just gonna pull them out and dab them dry and y'all that's pretty much it once you take these rods off it's gonna mimic make the curl pattern of the braiding hair I usually use this color rods or the pink ones I used to use the gray rods but those are a really really tight curl and a lot of people didn't like it and so since then I've kind of switched the rod size that I was using All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like when I take that perm rod off. You guys can see the curl pattern, the curl texture matches really, really good. I love that. Y'all can see it blends right in with the curly hair, and that's the goal. And this is pretty much my hair done. I'm just going to put some mousse on it so I can tame the curls. But if you want a super full look, you can also leave it like this. And so, yeah. I definitely want to do some more DIY content just because I actually have fun doing my own hair, y'all. But I might do it on live next time on YouTube Live. So let me know if you guys want to see me um, do some more DIY content and let me know what you guys want to see. And I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going in with this DeFill um, oil and I'm just going to oil my scalp because y'all know I had dandruff. So I added that mousse. I'm going to seal that moisture in. And yeah, this is me, y'all. After I put my makeup on, put that shit on, period. Um... And yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I think I did a really, really good job. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below because I know y'all going to keep it a book. They're nice and long, y'all. I want these back now that I'm watching this video. These were so cute. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And I will catch you guys in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?